Glory is transcendent in the life of our republic. This rotunda is a trumpet call to glory. Tributes to the giants all the way up into the sky. Tributes to the giants all the way up in the sky. They love to mock us with the truth. They know these existed. And so what they do is put the truth out there in plain sight. They name all their sports teams after them. They name um, bands after them. Products, you know, stores, movies, teams. There's the never ending story. Yeah, so they 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 put it out there. They mock us. They make fun of us that they know. And they take all these really cool stories, our true history, the stuff that really happened is really cool, and they sell it to us as fantasy. So we would never think to look at this as being something that existed and real. We're, we're subjected with this stuff, and subject is to inject something into the subconscious. We're told how to perceive things. And they mock us because they know they have us under a spell. This rotunda is a trumpet call to glory. Tributes to the giants all the way up into the sky. So I wanted to um, revisit one of my favorite mud fossils. First one I found. Giant ape, King Kong. See, they were, they were real. <laughs> These things really existed. There was something that happened and, uh, you know, fossilized them. And the remains are everywhere. They're on state parks, you know, government owned uh, land. They're preserving them, they're hiding them. And it messes with uh, evolution and proves a lot of other stuff. I've done a video on this guy or girl before, but I wanted to revisit. See, they love to mock us with the truth. They know these existed. And so what they do is put the truth out there in plain sight. They name all their sports teams after them. They name um, bands after them, you know, products. You know, stores, movies, teams.
there's the never ending story. Yeah, so they 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 put it out there. They mock us. They make fun of us that they know. And they take all these really cool stories, our true history. The stuff that really happened is really cool. And they sell it to us as fantasy. So we would never think to look at this as being something that existed in real. We're we're subjected with this stuff and subject is to inject something into the subconscious we're told how to perceive things and they mock us because they know they have us under a spell this rotunda is a trumpet call to glory tributes to the giants all the way up into the sky. The giants all the way up in the sky. Language dictates how we perceive our reality. Pareidolia is a hoax. Without words, our eyes would perceive with the mind, not the description. I see faces because there are faces. This beautiful power has been hijacked by our language in words, pareidolia is a hoax. Faces because there are faces. Turning off words to realize our real eyes have been blinded by speech. Language dictates how we perceive. Our reality. It's perfected. Glory is transcendent in the life of our republic. This rotunda is a trumpet call to glory. Tributes to the giants all the way up into the sky. Tributes to the Giants all the way up in the sky. Ever wonder why they teach mythology in school? You know, if it's just myths, it's all untrue. Why waste the time teaching that to kids in school? Yeah. Wouldn't it be better to teach kids how to buy a house, buy a car, write checks? balance a checkbook, open a bank account, stuff you actually really need in life to function. They don't teach that. No, they te teach myths to kids. They waste time on that. 
It's because myths are what our true past and history are. And so they turn it into fantasy in our minds at a very young age. And then it's reinforced in movies, TV shows, media, that all these mythological things are fantasy. But they're not. They were real. They were turned to stone somehow. But this is a fossilized remain of a giant ape. Yeah. No reason to teach myths in school unless it's just to make myths fantasy because that's our true history. They're trying to hide it. These right there. <laughs> There's two of them. There's the head, legs. There's one right beside them. See the elite, they they know all this truth and it's the best stories. So they put it in movies. They put the truth in movies. They make it seem like it's fantasy, so you would never look at these things and see them as reality. It's what they do with movies, it's programming. It's to get you to perceive something in a certain way, the way they want you to. Yeah, but they get all, all the ideas, you know, for all the movies from reality and they make it seem like fantasy. And these remind me of those, the walkers. This rotunda is a trumpet call to glory. Tributes to the giants all the way up into the sky.